Sunday we go to the Bag of TV. We're on his way today to Lindome Lakes for the Golden Rod Feeder Championship. Now, today we're going to try and qualify for the Golden Rod Feeder Championship. Uh, three go through today at Lindome Lakes. And the final is at Larford Lakes next year, I think, in March. So we've got quite a few tickets for these up and down the country. If you don't know, the Golden Rod Feeder Championship is uh, done by Phil Briscoe. And he runs a competition up and down the country. Um, and it's a two-day event is the final to, uh, to Larford Lakes. And it's in a chance to win like £10,000 for the winner. And loads and loads of other prizes for sections and first, second, third. And I think they pay like the top six or something like that. So that's what we're on today, the Golden Rod campaign. I'm uh, trying to get there, being up early as old to try and meet, uh, excuse me, early as old to try and meet um, Alan Norrish from uh, Fish on TV for a bit of a breakfast. We're going to have a breakfast um, at Lindon, the first breakfast there, so I'm really looking forward to it um, and doing some really nice food at Lindome if you've not been up it looks fantastic the new cafe and everything so really looking forward to having a breakfast there it's um now that covid's kicked back in places aren't open and stuff like that it's a bloody nightmare you can't get a and i'm not going to mcdonald's again god someone coming on the channel dave you want to get a sponsorship from mcdonald's you go in there all the time i don't know i know i know so I brought, uh, I ain't brought much in the old snack box. I think I've only got, um, oh I have, I've got a lovely, lovely mince pie and cheese. Now you've got to have, like like Christmas cake and cheese, you've got to have mince pie and cheese. I love a bit of cheese with a mince pie, I don't know if you all like. Comment below if you like mince pie and cheese. Bang on. So I brought me a mince pie and cheese and I bought me a bit of a pear bit of a pear bit of fruit on the old bank for the feeder I know everyone loves the old snack attack on the uh, so I'm trying to get there early get have this breakfast look really looking forward to it forget the fishing we're just going for breakfast aren't we so the fishing some bonsai laurels and loco and I think there's 20 on I can't remember, there must be more. Must be more on Bonsai and Loco, but 60 peg match and three qualifiers out of the zones, they get through to uh, the final to fish at uh, Larford Lakes, like we said. So, three qualifiers going through today. Let's hope it's one of us. Just need a good peg. Be nice to get on Bonsai or Loco, one of them two. At Laurels is just. Since they've done laurels and cut islands out, it's snaggy as all. Chucking a feeder to island, it's snaggy as all. So if I get on there, I'm going to try and fish it up and water. But I just hope I don't get on there. Watch it now. I've had it, Anna. Now that I've said that, I'll be on laurels 100%. So I'm hoping that it's light enough because it's uh, getting a bit... I um, don't know if it's light enough to do the old video. I don't know if it's dark or what. But... Um, Really looking forward to it, can't wait to get there, um, and um, yeah, that's it really. Big shout out to all the members that have joined up, if you want to become a Bag Up TV member, hit that join button, getting loads and loads of members now, um, hit the join button, pick which option you want, and you get exclusive videos, more videos than ever before, you get to see these before anybody else tutorial videos what I'm doing in the week all sorts of stuff so yeah if you want to become a bag up TV member hit that join button right let's get there let's have this breakfast see if it's any good
Are you going, huh? Yeah? Alright, I'll go. I'll get you on camera day. Oh, lovely. Alright, Phil. Uh, Hi, Matt Malia, I bought a ticket off. Right, let's find him first. Matt Malia. Yeah. Matt Malia, he yep. becomes. Sir? What's your name? David Wood. David Wood. Right, that's made name change. Put your 20 in there to yep. get in the pools. Right, Dave, you have drawn. Come on. Head number 32 on laurels. Mmm, thanks very much. Happy with that, Dave, are you? Don't know. <laughs> Can't remember. Are you happy with that, Dave? Think so. Right, here we go. Today's snacks, look. Mince pie and cheese. Merry Christmas. Look at this. Healthy. And then, brought the old flask out. I've got a nice coffee. So that's it for the old snack attack. Mince pie and cheese. And a pear. We're not breaking platforms today, are we? Save that in there. There we go.
sorry for this. This peg had £110 on Saturday. How are you done? Uh, 120 I think. We need a rematch on the feeder, don't we? Well, you didn't pay last time and you cried all the way home, so I'll take you on any time for 20 quid. Yeah. Look, look, pressure's got two, we can't even weigh in. That's um... Do you want to get that rod set up now? <laughs> <laughs> That, 20 pounds. 142. Excellent. 11 pounds too. You're excelled. Sorry. 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 Well. Yeah. Right, section E was won with 27 pounds 12 from peg 12, which is Dave Teal. Well done, man. Right, man. No, 12 pounds. Uh, right, and the last section, which was section F, Again with 2712 from Peg 38, Dale Shepherd. Well done, Dale. Right, now then, your overall top five will play out, and then obviously I think you'll know who the qualifiers are, but I'll go through the system. In fifth place, with a weight of 39.9 from Peg 68 on Bonsai, Charlie Simpson. Well done, Charles. Well done, Charlie. Well done, mate. Um, in fourth place, 
uh, with a weight of 42 pound 5 ounce from peg 40 on loco was Kev Wodge. Well done, Kev. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. In third place, with a weight of 43.15 from peg 20 on loco, Justin Iverson. Well done, mate. <laughs> In second place, with a weight of 58.8 from peg 18 on loco, Richard Moore. Well done, well done Rich. Thank you. Fucking hell, do you have a book there long time? Thank you. <laughs> and the winner overall today with £60 and 11 ounces from Peg 46 on Bonds, Bonsai was Mr. Coates. Well done, man. Well done, right, Tom. That is it. Um, we'll just talk about my day because it was uh, a bit of a nightmare. It's not fished very well at all, to be honest, but. Um, um, I've only had a few bites. I chucked out the maggot feeder down the middle. I caught a few skimmers first off, only really little ones. Um, then I've tried chucking to Ireland and been snagged up about four times. I've lost a couple of feeders and what have you. That were a bloody nightmare. So I've come off that, chucked down the middle. Um, and I kept getting odd liner and I thought, oh, there's some fish there, but... Um, nothing ever you know nothing ever got going on that so I've come off that put a little scoop feeder on pellet feeder and chucked really tight in an hole in Ireland and I've had four four f1s and then I've and then I've underarmed one at, I put some snapping short underarmed it and I've had one f1 off that and I've had a couple of little knocks and crannies and stuff like that. it's been absolutely terrible to be honest it, yeah, I don't know what's happening. You could tell winter's here because it's cold as oat, and I think I should have just fished that maggot, stayed on that maggot feeder from the start. Um, the Dale Shepherd won our section with twenty-seven pound, and he also got through to the final. So well done, Dale. Always hard man to beat on Lindholm. But it's been quite an hard lake to be honest. It's been twenty-seven pound, two twenty-seven pounds. So the both this other chap, he, he's qualified as well. I don't know his name. It's been hard work. Um, I've had Jamie Harrison next door. He's had two F1s chucked back. Mark other side, he didn't have a bite further up from me. Um, been very hard. I probably come third in section to be honest, because a lot of people didn't weigh in. They caught two or three, four F1s and what I've been just chucked back and went home. Oh, so it's been very strange. Um, Tony Coates has won it again. He's won the qualifier from, I think he was down in this corner, 50 odd, and he's he's won it qualified. So well done, Tony. Charlie's come second. Charlie Simpson come second off Bonsai. He's had about 40 pound. I think Tony had about 50 odd, and he's won the match outright as well. And then Richard Vaughan, he's also qualified off Loco. He's had 48 pound, I think. So you know, 40, 50 pound won you the match and to qualify Dale and this other lad had £27 so it's not very much is it but it's that winter time it's turned ridiculously cold and um, yeah that's what it is really what can you do shame there weren't much footage today it's um, it's not been great but I've still enjoyed it still enjoyed getting out and bank we've had a laugh and had a laugh with Dale and what have you and it's it's been quite fun to be honest so um, I've been still enjoyed it um, so that's this one over we're on to the next one the next one we've got the golden rod qualifiers are decoy we're at decoy lakes on the 7th of November I think it is so I'll be filming that hopefully we'll get a few more pulls at decoy and it won't be here as um, you know as bad as here but uh, you know I love Lindome and whatever it's just fish rock hard today it's probably due to colder temperatures and you know fish aren't moving about it's you know it's stuff full at lindo i mean it's stuff full of fish so they're there they're just not feeding and we could what can you do so that's it hat sudis t-shirts all available thanks for watching big shout out to his members We're getting loads and loads of members big shout out to them thanks very much for supporting the channel and uh, we'll see you next time keep on bagging